Is social media really free? What is the best way to fundraise? When we think on the margin and consider opportunity cost, we're better able to answer these types of questions. I'm Professor John List from the University of Chicago, and this is Economics for Everyone. Today, I'm going to add some high voltage to your decision making. To do so, we have to think on the margin. You might ask, what is marginal thinking? For every activity you do, there's an extra benefit and an extra cost. The minute you compare the marginal benefits to the marginal cost, you are doing marginal thinking. Think about a simple example. If you've already had four cookies, if you think on the margin, you ask, if I consume the fifth cookie, what are the extra or marginal benefits? It's likely pretty low because it might cause a stomach ache. And what are the marginal costs? It's, I had to pay a dollar for the cookie. So as an optimizer, you don't buy that fifth cookie because the marginal cost is greater than the marginal benefits. To dig deeper into this idea of marginal thinking, let's consider an example that happened to me at the University of Chicago. Just like any university, University of Chicago asks for donations from their alumni to keep things going. Now, one of my research areas is the economics of charitable giving. So when I arrived on campus, they naturally asked me, can you help us raise more money? So when I went to visit them, I was thinking that they were doing phonathons because everyone knows that a phonathon is the best way to raise money. So when they told me we're not doing phonathons, we're actually doing mailers, I said, why? They said, well, it's simple. The average cost of a phone call is about a dollar, whereas the average cost of a mailer is only 50 cents. And even though we raise more money with phonathons, it doesn't overcome the extra cost associated with them. I dug a little bit deeper into this and said, why is a call so much more expensive? They said a big part of the reason is because of the phone bank in the computer system cost. I said, aha, there's a problem with this kind of thinking because you are considering sunk cost when making your decision. A sunk cost is something that you spent a long time ago, like the computer system or the phone bank. And if you're a marginal thinker, you should not take that into account when deciding how to fundraise. So I said, let's redo those calculations and think about what is the extra cost for each additional phone call? Because when deciding to fundraise, this is an ongoing yearly activity that you should consider marginal costs and marginal benefits. So we redid the numbers in ignoring that sunk cost. The marginal cost was actually a dime per call. Thinking like an economist, it became obvious for them. The right way to think about this problem is on the margin, the additional cost and the additional benefits of each call. So Mason, my eight-year-old son, had saved up $350 and wanted to buy a top-line baseball bat. So we went shopping. He quickly found two really good options. One of the bats was $200, the other one was $350, and he couldn't decide which one to buy. Now, as humans, we tend to neglect such things like opportunity cost. As an economist father, I said, Mason, think about it like this. If you buy the $200 bat, then that leaves you with $150 to buy that really cool baseball glove. Within a minute, we were at the cashier and he bought the $200 bat and he had the baseball glove. He just needed a little nudge for him to see if you buy the $350 bat, you're giving up that baseball glove. Marginal analysis and opportunity cost neglect happen all the time. Let me tell you a story about when I used to be the chief economist at Lyft. 
Now, a very important job at Lyft was to acquire new drivers. How does Lyft acquire new drivers? They post ads on Facebook and Google. So the team came to me and said, we're trying to think about where to place the next set of ads. Should we place them on Facebook or Google? And I said, well, what do the data say? And they said, well, for the last thousand drivers that we've acquired from Facebook ads, on average, it's been about $300 per driver in cost. For the last thousand drivers that we've acquired via Google ads, it's been $400 per driver. So I said, well, what do you think you're gonna do? They said, well, it's obvious. We should place more Facebook ads. I said, before doing so, let's think on the margin and consider just the last 25 drivers than the last thousand drivers. That evening, they wrote me an email and they said, well, now we have a different story because on Facebook, the last 25 drivers cost $1,000 each. But on Google, the last 25 drivers only cost $500 each on average. So now thinking on the margin, we placed Google ads because we didn't look at the mounds and mounds of data which gave us averages. We looked at the last splice of data that gave us a marginal decision. Now, this isn't just an example of thinking on the margin, right? By spending more money on Facebook ads, you actually give up spending on your next best alternative, which is Google ads. Does that sound familiar? That's opportunity cost. What we could have gained at Lyft from those ads placed on Facebook, we're actually giving up in terms of Google ads. Let's return to our opener. Is social media free. Now you might think so right away. You might think, well, yeah, it's free because I don't have to pay any money for most social media sites. But now after this lesson, it might cause you to pause. You might say, well, what else could I be doing with my time? This is how economists think about the question. Social media isn't free because there's an opportunity cost of time. Economics is all around us. And that is why economics is for everyone.